Megan and I met on the internet. Both of us had been widowed. We met in a restaurant, and when I opened the door, he had a plastic rose between his teeth. <laughs> it, was, it was very funny. My first impression of Rose was that she was extremely bright. She was very open about herself, her desires in life, her past experiences. I had been widowed for over seven years, and he had been widowed for less than a year. He was alternative. He was alternative as I was. Once we got together, I really had one requirement on my own body, and that is make it move. Both of us are very high energy people. Every date was very active. If we didn't go out for dinner, we'd be hiking, climbing, because I was doing quite a bit of climbing at that time. He did a lot of biking. I like bicycling. I got my first bike when I was three years old. When we first met, he said, one of the things I really want to do is climb Kilimanjaro. And I said to him, but I've already done it. And that was kind of where we started. It's a wonderful life to just get out there and let it happen. We had gone to the boat show and we met a gentleman. He had a trip that he was taking four couples, 14 days around the Greek islands and the couples on the sailboat would be the crew. One of the requirements was we had to be qualified and have a certificate. I had never sailed in my life but I'm game for anything. We go down to the Toronto Harbor, there's a sailing school, we signed up and now we go out for two days for a lot of weeks and we learn how to sail. And that's how we started boating. Just an absolutely fabulous experience that I would recommend to anybody. Having hobbies after retirement is very important. I didn't have any. I found out all sorts of things that I liked to do and one of them is photography. It was wonderful. We take a lot of pictures between us 2,500 to 3,000 in a month. I never thought I would like retirement, but the fact is we're too busy. We're too busy traveling and doing all the things that we love. The world is too large, there are too many things to do. When both Minkt and I were basically online dating, I think both of us were very concerned about looking for someone who would be healthy and active because both of us had had a spouse that had died of cancer. During the time, about five years after we had been together, Bengt had taken very ill and had almost died. We were in the emergency ward, and I sat there, and I took his hand, and I said to myself that even if he died that night, that the five years that we had together were, I would never want to trade those five years and I was, it was a gift to me to have that relationship from him. But I did come back. <laughs> I did come she back. She did, yes, I she did. I woke up again. Yes, she did. <laughs>